Hey, welcome to Cooper's Automotive. We have a customer complaint on this vehicle, loss of power, and of course that bing, check engine lights on. Um, went in and pulled codes on it just to see what was in the system. And I'll bring the scanner out there because it will hold the codes on this MODIS and see if I can get you a picture of that. There you are. You got a P2196. O2 sensor single bias rich, and that just went out on me. But a P0, I'm sorry, P2198 and a P2196, both bias rich. So uh, my thoughts were vacuum leak. Now I've had another customer that had one of these Fords uh, with a similar problem. So I went straight to that area and um, show you what I found. All right, under the hood, we've got the uh, purge valve right here. It's canister purge. I've unlocked it. I want to start it up. Now they also have this problem with the six cylinder. We're running. Get some light on it. Here's the vacuum line going back. I'm going to take it off. Pull that clip up, that green clip, take it off. And you can't hear that, probably. Let me see something so I can give you an indication of here. So we've got a black glove here. And it's, anyway, it's sucking vacuum. If you put a vacuum gauge on it, you would see that. Let's unplug it. Unplugged. Sucking vacuum when it's not supposed to be. The valve is stuck. So we're going to change that valve and uh, retest it. All right, vehicle's off. And we're using a Napa part here. And it's an XTP450036. And that is your. Excuse me, that's the wrong part. That's a mass airflow I got going on another vehicle. Ignore that. Let's try this valve here. That's much better. We got a 2 283993 on that valve. Making sure it's correct. This is what it looks like. And it just goes down inside the intake there. I need an eight millimeter socket after you get the clip out. Now it's easier to get the clip out once the valve is off. So we got the valve off. There's the old one. Installing our new one. Be careful that O-ring. You might would like to put some uh, silicone on it or something like that. Put it back in there. Anytime you see those codes, you can vacuum leak anywhere. It's not necessarily always this, but this is really common. The last one I did, I think, wasn't the 5.0. I think it was the six, uh, the, the six cylinder. I think it's a 3.5, I believe. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I'm going to go inside, leaving this off, and I'm going to start the car. Well, this is a truck. We're running. Let's see what I feel here. Nada. No vacuum there. If I had a vacuum gauge, I could just show you, but trust me, we have no vacuum. 
on that valve. So you push it back on, then you push the green tab back in. So there you have it, 2013 Ford F-150 5 liter engine on this truck. And uh, the two codes that I gave you earlier. And that's a fix, and that's a wrap on this video. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Comment, the good, the bad, and the ugly, whatever. We'll take them all. I will reply, and I'll always be nice. See you soon.